Oh god. Uh, sound off. Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh god. So, hey guys, welcome to part three of Give Me the Tuttle Screen. Why are you always holding out on me? Like, bloody hell. Come on. Yeah, we will be fast. Um. Um. Please. Man, drill man, drill man. Uh, that was in first part. Oh, yeah. Last time. Alright, uh, welcome to uh, part 3 of Mega Man 4. Last time we took on Toad Man, and for some freaking weird ass reason, it's taken freaking ages for the Tuttle screen to come up, or whatever. Yeah. Oh, that's Drill Man. Wrong save file. Dang it. There we go. Now, question is who are we taking on today? Dive man, I gotta take you out. I'm taking Welcome dive to the water man. level. Yeah, I'm taking dive man out. His just his evil face. I'm just like, okay, I'm done. I uh, you're oh. our next man. I know you get rush marine in this game, but I don't know if you have it yet. I already got it. I got it from Top Man's level, oddly enough. Well, then it's probably going to be useful here. Yay. Because you know that man, that would be an underwater level. Oh god. Water and lava, that doesn't exactly mix. Or at least not too well. Yeah. Ah. I remember this area now. Yeah, well, just fixing my, uh... Oh shit. Okay, good. Yeah, it's just... Oh, oh yeah! Hmm? There is a bit of news. Last night was the Game Awards, which I didn't watch because I don't have TV and I'm not really interested anyway. Hmm. Um, apparently there's a few announcements. Not very many that really interest me that I've seen so far. Hmm? There's a couple cool things. First off, um, Psychonauts 2 is confirmed and they're going to fund it through Kickstarter. Which I never played the first one, but I've always wanted to because it's always looked really interesting to me. And it's cool to see they're getting a sequel. Yeah. Um, the game is on PSN, so I'm going to try to get it eventually, the first one eventually, but that's <laughs> awesome. That's actually. And the next batch of uh, Mortal Kombat X characters was revealed. Oh, I got Okay. I'm going to get my thoughts on each. Sure. First off, probably the um, lamest is fucking Bo Rai Cho is back. Oh. He was not in the game I have, but he was in the PS2 games, and, uh, Whoa. I guess he was kind of a joke character, because he was, like, a drunk, and most of his attacks revolved around puking or farting. Oh, God. Like, he actually had a fatality in one of them, where he fucking just, you know, does the fart fire trick and burns you your opponent alive. Whoa. So, meh. It's that's a joke a character, whatever. That's kind of cool. Um, it's kind of funny at the same time. Yeah, well, that's what, it, like, I think he was supposed to be a joke character, and the fact that thing is he actually has a serious part in the story, he's supposed to be a serious character, but all of his moves are, like, ridiculous, and I think that's the joke, but, hmm. so yeah, they brought him back. Um, a new character, a new cyborg, he looks a lot like, um, the default cyborgs from MK9, like, just, you know, black, colored, and... But it. it showed him turning into both Cyrax and Sector. I'm guessing each of those is probably going to be a uh, variation for him. Like I'll have one where he plays like one and one like the other. Hmm. Don't know about his third one though. I'd hope for for uh, Cyber Sub Zero because that was awesome. But then again, I think a regular Sub Zero can do most of those moves now anyway. So, but um. That's cool. Um, it's good that we're getting all the uh, cyborgs back in one character. I like that. Oh, God. Then the two most interesting. First off, fucking Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. What? Can't say I didn't see it coming, but can't say I did either, because... Yeah, I could see them putting another horror character in. I kind of thought it was either going to be Mike Myers or Freddy again. Because Freddy again would have been, been better and made more sense, because you already got Jason. Yeah. 
And I figure you might as well do Freddy versus Jason since the um, other character. But I'll get to that. Um, I would have been happier with the other two I just mentioned, but meh. Another horror movie character ain't bad. I'm alright with that. Again, NetherRealm just needs to straight up take all these characters and make a horror-themed fighting game at this point because it's getting ridiculous. Because now you got Freddy, Jason, Predator, Alien, and now Leatherface. I mean, a couple more characters, and you got a fucking roster right there. Yeah. Like, you can do, like, a fucking simple eight-character fighting game with just a couple more. Like, you're already almost there. Like, fuck. Yeah. That's my opinion on that. But, um, and I know there's a game like that already at, like a free to play game called a, a not free to play, but you know, like a flash game or something called Terror Drum, but uh, that's different. Hmm. I'd like to see more combats take on it, but, um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, then finally, Alien. Which. Yeah, it's been kind of hinted at for a while, and since Prior got in, it was kind of inevitable. Oh, thanks. So. Little red uh, help a robot dude. Oh, yeah, Eddie. Hey, you just give me a free but, um, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, he, yeah, he's pretty cool. But, um... So, yeah, Alien's in. Which, you know, Alien vs. Predator, so that's why I thought maybe they should do Freddy vs. Jason again, but whatever. Um, yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. It's pretty cool. Hmm. It looks like, though, the thing I noticed is interesting hmm. is, and this is just based off the first impression, they didn't show any gameplay, they just introduced the characters. He looks to be like a Baraka clone. Like, even the character model looks like it was originally used as a rig for Baraka. Like, oh. it looks very similar. Um, and actually, that's who I thought we were going to get at the beginning of the trailer, but they, they kind of teased us because it showed Baraka, but then the fucking chestburster alien came out, and everyone was like, oh shit. <laughs> Which, yeah, that's a good way to introduce the alien. But um, at the very end of the trailer, you see the alien like pull out like these arm blades like Baraka has, and I'm like... At least one of his variations is just going to be Baraka. Yeah. Which, I'm okay with that. But I'm hoping his other variations have more new shit exclusive to the alien. I don't want it to just be a Baraka clone. You know, I guess that's a good way to get him in the game while also introducing a new character. But, um... Yeah. Eh. I'm okay with it. It's just... I just hope it has more originality than just being, you know, basically a palette swap, because it looks like one at face value, but yeah. we'll see. I can't play the game because it comes with the PS3 version, so, you know, whatever, but... Yeah, that's basically all I've kind of bothered to look into. Um... It was a pretty hype, though. I do like a lot of the new characters. The only stinker would be Bo Raicho. Honestly, if they had to pick an, a, a fucking MK Deception character or Deadly Alliance, I wear they would have went with, like, Frost, who is basically a cool female Sub-Zero. She had a cameo in MKX, so... Hmm. There's a bunch of other characters she did, too, who, you know, could have fit that role, role better, but... Eh. Oh, God, where am I going? I personally wish they would have brought Cabal back. If, if I had to pick one, if I had to pick anyone, I probably would have picked Cabal, because, uh... Wow, he got... He's getting kind of shafted in the reboot series. Oh. When he's actually a really cool character. Because, like, uh... Once you finish his chapter in MK9, like, he barely does any... He does not do anything else. Like, the next time you see him, he basically gets killed. There's a few other characters who get that same treatment, but Cabal kind of gets it the worst. Um, 
which sucks because he's actually like one of the funnest characters to play as. And I would like to see him, or at least his move set, get into MK9. So you know, yeah. if I had to pick a character to bring back, it'd be him. But you know, who knows? There might be a combat pack three. You never know. Wire. What the hell did I just pick up? I picked up something called huh? wire, and it looks like a grappling hook. What the hell? Get that, because I think you need that. Because I think I actually missed that item on my playthrough. Is it an item you can get? Yeah. Get it, because I think I actually missed that. I think you'll need that later. But, um... So, yeah. Um... Nothing really else I saw of, like, note to me. Like, there wasn't any Nintendo announcements or anything. So, yeah. hmm. They did do, like, a tribute to one. Oh! Dude, oh, boy, there is one thing. Oh, boy, it is time to shit on Konami. Oh, God. Because uh, they got fucking sandblasted yesterday because they did a really shitty thing. Okay, so MGS5 was up for a ton of rewards, right? And I think it won a couple. Um, yeah, Konami legally bans Hideo Kojima, the guy who makes Metal Gear, from coming to the awards. Ooh. Yeah, and Jeff Keighley, like the host, he just fucking... Apparently, he just fucking threw them under the bus and told everyone. Like, right on stage. <laughs> Which is fucking great. Oh my god. That's great. It's just more in the saga of the downfall of Konami. Like, like it started with the fucking Silent Hills thing, and then all the bullshit they were doing it with, with uh, Kojima and MGS5, and now this, like, damn. Ooh, Konami is not doing too hot right now. No. I mean, at least Sega and Capcom are trying, but Konami just keeps doing very stupid things. Don't touch me. I mean, Sega and Capcom have made a lot of mistakes recently as too, and hell, even Nintendo, but at least they're making an attempt, like, to stay good in the public eye, where Konami's just being complete tools. Yep. Dude, it's pretty great. Shots fired. What the hell? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Good lord. Oh god. Which, I was never a big Konami fan. I mean... I never really played many of their games. I, think I mean, the Metal Gear games look good, but I've never actually played any of them. I think the only Konami game I got is a Yu-Gi-Oh! Game Boy Advance game, and that's about it. I think it was a Stairway to Death and Duel. That's it. I had one on DS, I forget what it was called, but... Yeah, like, they make all the Yu-Gi-Oh! shit, which... Does Yu-Gi-Oh still sell well? I honestly do not know if people still buy Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't heard from that in a while. I think some kids do. I know kids here still buy them. I think some kids still buy them. Um, and there's probably like, because there's still like a big, you know, scene for the Pokemon card game. Yeah. So, you know, Magic still has a scene. Yu-Gi-Oh probably still has a scene somewhere. Um... I don't think it's as popular as it was, by any means, but I think it's still pretty popular. Yeah. Um, like I stopped collecting cards after GX, and I watched a lot of uh, 5Ds, which was pretty good. Um, you know, it's just, card games on motorcycles! Oh <laughs> which, you know, whatever. But, uh, yeah, I tried to watch Zexel, and, like, I was just like, Okay. 
Okay, they finally oh, completely fucked it up. I'm sorry, but Five Days was cool because it was a lot darker. It was actually pretty dark compared to some of the other series. Um, it did a lot of cool shit. Um, uh, Dive Man. I'm and GX is pretty good. I liked it a lot when I was younger. And of course, the original is the original, but. Zack's Law, I just could not get into it. At that point, it was just getting so ridiculous. They were trying so hard to keep shoehorning new card types in. Oh. Like, the Secret Monsters in 5Ds, I accepted and rode with it. Because they didn't really change anything in GX. They just, like, you know, there was new cards, but there wasn't really that many new types. Yeah. You know, they hadn't been done before, but, like... Then... Five D's came out with Synchro Monsters, that was okay. And then they got replaced with, I forget what the fuck it even was. I forget what the new system in Zexel even was, to be honest. Hmm. But, um, I wasn't, but it was basically the same thing, but slightly different or something. And it was just kind of like, okay. And like, I don't know, it was just getting kind of ridiculous by that point. Hmm. But... And apparently there's a new one called Arc V, which I literally know nothing about, or if it's even aired in America yet. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. But, um... Yeah, I played a Yu-Gi-Oh game. I had a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, too, but, um... I also, uh... Contra 4, which... That was actually made by Way Forward. Because hmm. they know their shit. Um... Ooh, which I got uh, some news about that as well that I found out recently. Hmm. But, um... So that's cool. Um, what else? I know, I know there's gotta be something else that I'm gonna play. Actually, I think that might actually be it. Um... Like, I played Castlevania games, but I haven't really, you know, played, played one or, like, you know, say and owned one. I might go back and play some of the NES ones at some point. I mean, I'm thinking about it, but... Because I like them, I just haven't really played them or owned one, so... I don't know. Um... Yeah, that's about it. But yeah, way forward, they done something interesting out is that, um, their character, Shantae, who has a Game Boy game I need to play, too, um, it's going to be an Indivisible, and I think the game actually totally got funded. Hmm. Which is awesome. And, uh, there's actually going to be a bunch of guest characters. Uh, Shovel Knight's going to be in it, too. Which is weird, because that's made by X-Ray Forward employees. So, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um. So there's a bunch of other characters, too, from a bunch of other games. I think they're even putting a Skullgirls character in, which... It's made by the same people, so I don't see why they wouldn't. Yeah. Can you please open your chest again? I need to shoot your... Yeah, fucking... And, uh, Zubaz from Two Best Friends Play is probably going to get in, too, so that's going to be epic. Mm-hmm. Oh, he was a, uh, palette swap for a character in Skullgirls. And he was also in Shovel Knight. And a few other games, so that's pretty cool. Um... <laughs> That's pretty cool to be yeah, in the game. Yeah, they're, like, they're getting a bunch of guest characters from other big indie games and shit in there, too, so I like that. Yeah. And I'm glad the game got fun, because it actually looks pretty good. Oh, shit. Because it looks like... It's kind of like Metroid combined with an RPG, like the way the levels were designed. Hmm. It's kind of like got a Metroidvania thing going... And it's got, like, an action RPG-type battle system on top of it. It's actually pretty cool how they're doing it. Oh, that was the other one. They're going to have uh, Juan from uh, Guacamelee be in it. Which is another really cool Metroidvania game that I want to look into. Huh. Um, but, yeah. So, um, that's pretty cool. I like that. So, yeah, they're doing some pretty cool shit with it, so, you know. 
Unless Toby Fox decides he wants to make another game, I think that's RPG to watch for the near future. Hmm. Whoa. Yes, come on, keep doing that, keep doing that, dive man. Who should? <laughs> Not exactly that. Oh, are you fighting the dive man? Yeah, my third attempt. <laughs> oh god. I mean, he's not... He's not hard to hit, it's just that his attacks do a fair amount of damage. Yeah, that is kind of the, um, thing. Oh god. There we go. There we go. <coughs> Now my Mega Buster's doing a number on him. Shit. Mega Butter. Mmm, Butter. <laughs> oh god, that was close. Come on, die man, you're gonna die today. Come on. Come on. Steady stream of bullets. Spray Ow. all in your face. Diggity. Oh god. Oh, my neck was itchy too. Ah. Uh, yeah. Come on. Whoa. Let's see if I can end this with a charge shot. Whoa. Booyah! Ooh, and the, I ended it just like how I liked it. Woo! <sighs> that was fun. <laughs> Honestly, it was fun. Mega Man games are fun. Yeah. So I can't wait for Mighty Number no. 9 in February. Please be worth the wait. Please don't be, like, not good. Well, from what I've seen so far, it looks it looks pretty dang good. No, yeah. scratch that. Looks freaking amazing. There you go. Little I think people are only getting butt hurt because of the whole delay thing. Cause it keeps getting delayed. And people are just getting really butt hurt about it. Yeah. But I think the game is still going to be really good in the end. Let's just hope that, uh, hey, once this one gets released, that they actually continue uh, making, uh, Mighty Number no. 9 uh, or, yeah, Mighty Number no. 9 games afterwards. Yeah. So I wouldn't mind, like, a modern, like, a, uh, modern take on Mega Man. Or, say, the yeah. spiritual successor. Yeah. Oh, dive missile. Really? You're just going to make Meg Meg Man's light blue bits turn white? I think it looks pretty good, actually. Hey, what about float your boat? Porn partially intended. <laughs> Alright, guys. That came out wrong. It sounded like you said porn. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Porn definitely intended. Alright guys, oh, there's no way of rescuing that. <laughs> Alright guys, this is the password for anyone that wants it. And there's Dive Man stage down. Next time, we'll be taking on... Whatever the fuck we feel like it. Yeah, so I'm actually honestly not sure. Uh, one, one thing I know so far... We're almost halfway through of the, um... Uh, Robot Masters? Yeah, Robot Masters, and it's been nothing but a Mega Buster run. Yeah, the weapons aren't really as good in the second half of the NES games. The weapons kind of get not as useful. Thank you, Brain.
Guys, here's a challenge for you. Um, get any Mega Man game, whether it be Mega Man or Mega Man X, or even Mighty Number no. Nine, if you got your hands on the demo. Do a black, uh, do a Buster only run. People do that like all the time, dude. And see if you can beat. All of the masters. People do that. It's just like no uh, three heart runs in Zelda. Like people will do like weird like speed run challenge things like that. And let us know like in the uh, comments uh, just how many uh, bosses you managed to defeat without getting a game over. Okay, you start right from the beginning. You defeat as many bosses as you can without getting a game over. Oh yeah. Mm. Save states. I guess sa save states. Mm. You want no okay. save states either. So it's completely legit from start to finish. So that'd be an interesting challenge. So guys, let us know down in the comments once you once the challenge is done. Like once you get a game over, let us know how well you did. Like how many uh, vote masters you managed to take out, and hmm, how many attempts it took you to actually do it if you succeeded. And how many lives are lost? So, guys, uh, blast the charge shot to the like button if you guys enjoyed. And we'll see the next one where we take on. I might save Skullman for last. I don't know. Something's telling me I should save him for last. Then again, it might be Dustman. I don't know. So, guys, hope you enjoyed. And see you in the next one. Later.